Thanks for tuning in. This is Robert Galaros from Healthy Kidney Inc. And we're going to be doing a video series on some published research, which is called the Kidney Disease Outcomes Quality Initiative, KDOQI for short, that was published in the American Journal of Kidney Disease in September 2020. And this is also was put together by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And what these what this is is guidelines. So they come out with guidelines every so often about what are the best ways to handle just, just broad nutritional approaches for kidney disease. And the reason I'm gonna break this down into multiple videos is because it's actually really updated with really good important stuff, including protein intakes, which I'm gonna to cover today. Now I'm gonna do a whole video series going over everything they recommend so that everyone out there that has kidney disease can begin implementing this stuff. Now a disclaimer, and they also put it in here, that this isn't a, a guide to follow word for word, it's guidelines, so things that can just uh, help you get to where you are, but everything should be individualized and each situation should be taken into account. So this isn't by all means the only way and it's just broad guidelines that are really helpful for people. And I like it because it's got a lot of research. Now the research in here was up until 2017 is what they know. And then from now to when I mentioned it was published, it took all that time to evaluate the boards to meet to decide on what they're going to put into this journal article, the articles to get peer reviewed. And so there's a lot that goes into this. And the reason I'm saying this is that when it comes to research, there's a 10 to 20 year delay. So we start learning and knowing about things and really gathering a lot of data decades before it actually becomes mainstream. So even though this was in 2017 and gathering research before, it's really good. We try to stay as up to date as we can here at Healthy Kidney Inc. and provide good information for everybody to help their kidney disease just like I try to help my own kidney disease. So as I said I'm going to break this down. The first section is protein intake. Now I wrote it down on a board. I'm going to grab. I uh, don't have an easel or all these easy simple gadgets to make videos but you'll get all the information you need. So this is what they recommend for protein intake. So with people with kidney disease they recommend first going to 0.55 to 0.6 per grams per kilograms of body weight. So if you're in America, you don't use the metric system, a kilogram is 2.2 kilograms equals one pound. So you're gonna divide your body weight by 2.2, then you get that number and then you times it by 0.55 or 0.6 and that gives you your protein intake for the day. Now, they also recommend that some people can go to a low, to very low protein intake and you're gonna see it here Okay, that's 0.3 to 0.4 grams of protein per day. Now, if you're gonna go to those low amounts, so I'm just gonna hold it up for another moment. Okay, and if you're gonna go to those low amounts of protein, what they recommend and watching out for is making sure to get enough calories. So it is harder to get calories when you're on a lower protein diet as that 0.3 to 0.4. And you're gonna to have to look to include other foods, preferably healthy fats are always a way to add calories. We're gonna talk about more about the diets or ways to keep weight on and all the, all the things to do and look out for. But from this piece of research, uh, this really big publication, which is gonna guide a lot of practitioners on how they consult with their clients, those are the protein equations that they recommend. And it's really great to see that low protein value in certain situations is really great for people as long as you maintain your calorie intake. Now another thing is you can't go on that low protein diet, that 0.3 to 0.4, they even recommend without using keto acids, which are also called keto analogs of essential amino acids to make sure you don't become protein deficient. So we have more videos, check out other things. We're gonna be breaking down all this research more by more into topics, but this is the QDOQI, Kidney Disease Outcomes Quality Initiative that was published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases in September, 2020. So you can always get a copy of that for yourself or watch our videos here. Check out our website to learn more about low protein diets, different types of diets, uh, amino acids, keto acids, and how they support good kidney health at Healthy Kidney Inc. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.